And what became of the line? The line began to bend and warp. Its banks broke, its embankments and bridges washed away, and its cuttings filled in. Abandonment ceded to metamorphosis. Where once death stalked, life returned. The line welcomed rain and sun. Seeds germinated in mass graves between skulls and femurs and broken pick handles. Tendrils rose up alongside dog spikes and clavicles. It welcomed rot and ruin. In the end, all that was left was the heat and the clouds of rain and insects and birds and animals and vegetation that neither knew nor cared. Humans are only one of many things and all these things long to live and the highest form of living is freedom. A man to be a man, a cloud to be a cloud, bamboo to be bamboo. Decades would pass, a few short sections would be cleared by those who thought memory mattered, transformed in time into strangely resurrected trunkless legs, tourist sites, national sites, sacred sites. For the line was broken, as all lines finally are. It was all for nothing, and of it, nothing remained. People kept on longing for meaning and hope, but the annals of the past are a muddy story of chaos only. And of that colossal ruin, boundless and buried, the lone and level jungle stretch far away. Of imperial dreams and dead men, all that remained was long grass. <laughs>